Hey everybody, my name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching today. As a church, we are wanting the voice of faith to be a life-changing message. We want to spread encouragement and spread God as much as we can. Today, we pray that you are filled with faith and filled with hope as you hear the voice of faith. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hi everyone, so good to have you on the Voice of Faith uh, broadcast. We really enjoy these, you know, uh, whenever things changed and, uh, you know, we had to get used to being on camera for uh, our services and uh, for these nightly broadcasts, you know, it's kind of a stretch for us, but I guess we can now say that we are tele-evangelists because we're uh, on TV now. So <laughs> the Lord has promoted us, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> but I wanna talk to you tonight about um, something that I think is really important for the now, something that's really important for today. And that is that we walk in discernment. I want to talk about walking in discernment. There's a scripture in 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people. Look at this, that I may discern between good and bad. God, we see here in the scripture, God gives us the ability God gives us the power to discern things in life, to discern between good and bad through discernment, through this thing called discernment. And you have it as a believer. I have it as a believer. God gave it to us. And I'm going to tell you, we need it. We are living in a crazy World, You know, we have a young, a young son, one that's still in high school and uh, two uh, young adult children. And I'm so thankful for the foundation of the word of God in their life. I'm so thankful that they're saved and that they've got the Holy Ghost in their life. Because, you know, with all the craziness, you know, we have to be able to discern what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad, because it's getting confusing to a lot of people. There's a lot of deception. There's like a blanket of deception on the whole world. The Bible talks about that in Isaiah 5 and verse 20. I'm going to read this out of the ESV. It's talking about the day we're living in today. It says, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for the light and put light for the darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. I mean, you see the confusion that everybody's in just over what's right and over what's wrong. Well, how can we know? How can we know what's right? How can we know what's wrong? How can we know what's dark? What, how can we know what's light? We know through the power of discernment. And God's given us the tools of His Word. He's given us the tools of the Holy Spirit. And through walking in the Spirit and walking through this discernment, walking in this discernment, we're able to discern, we're able to judge things, whether they're good, whether they're bad. And we need to be walking in that in the day that we live in. There's a, there's a verse in 1 John chapter 2, verse 20. Go over there with me if you have your Bible. This is a, this is a real powerful verse, and you need to know it. It says, but you have... You have an unction from the Holy One. Just right where you're at, just say that. Say, I have an unction from the Holy One. This is something that you have. You have an unction from the Holy Ghost. And ye know all things. See, God doesn't want you in the dark. You're a child of the light. And God wants you to know things. Well, how do we know things? We know things by the Holy Ghost. We know things down on the inside of us. The Holy Spirit, what He does in your life is He brings a witness. He bears witness with your heart. Your heart can agree with something. Your heart can disagree with something. Your heart can agree with someone or your heart can disagree with someone. It's something you know down on the inside of you because you have that 
unction by the Holy Spirit. Learn to live by that unction. You know, I've been uh, sharing that with my sons. You know, judge things by the Spirit. When you meet somebody, judge that by the Spirit. When you hear something, you got to judge that by the Word, and you got to judge that by the Spirit. If you're not a Bible-reading Christian, you need to be. If you don't study the Word and hear the Word and read the Word, li listen, you are susceptible to all the deception that's out there. You won't know what's good, what's bad. You won't know what's evil. You won't know what's right. You don't, you won't know what's darkness. You won't know what's light, but God gave you the word and he gave you an unction. He gave you the unction from the Holy one so that you can know all things and walk in discernment. You know, discernment will help you to know things by God. We're in your own ability to see it and judge it, you wouldn't be able to, but God helps you to know what you need to know about it so that you can make the right decisions. So I wanna encourage you today, just really dig into the word, prove everything out by the word and walk in discernment, check your heart. You know, sometimes you just gotta stop and ask yourself, what is my heart saying about this? Is there a witness in my heart about this? And if there is, or if there isn't, you follow that witness. You can follow your spirit and trust it because the Holy Ghost is in there, amen. So walk in this discernment and uh, you, won't, you won't have problems with being deceived because you're following the Holy Ghost, amen. We love you so much. Thanks for being with us. We really appreciate you tune in, in, call somebody next time and let them know. Tune into the Voice of Faith with me and uh, let's just keep learning and growing together until Jesus comes back for his church. Amen. We love you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow. But before you go, here are some announcements to keep you informed with what's going on at Faith World Church. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Joey and these are your church announcements. Share the love of Jesus with a child this Christmas. Just select a giving tree tag in the foyer with information about each child. Tell us what tag you're taking and bring the gift unwrapped to the lobby December 13th. There will be no Wednesday midweek service on December 23rd and December 30th. Tune in those nights online to watch our Voice of Faith program and enjoy celebrating the holidays with your family. we will celebrate the birth of Jesus with music, special presentations, and an inspiring message from Pastor that will bless you this Christmas season. After the service, we have a surprise for all the FWC kids, including giveaways of this year's top Christmas toys. So have your kids register that morning in the lobby. Your family does not want to miss this special service. Sunday, December 13th, we invite everyone to wear their ugliest Christmas sweater to church. There will even be a prize for the most amazingly ugly sweater. So start planning your sweater today. Stick around after our Christmas joy service, December 13th for a few slices of pizza. This is a great opportunity to get to know other people from Faith World. There's no charge, just stay and enjoy lunch at the church. Faith World Youth, don't miss our annual Christmas party Friday, December 18th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Hemet campus. Wear your PJs and bring a wrapped white elephant gift and board games. We will serve you dinner and it will be a great time. Help us serve our community with food on December 12th and 19th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Hemet campus. 
This is a great opportunity to share the gospel and to show people that Jesus really cares about their life. We will be getting groceries ready in Hemet December 10th and 17th at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. The morning team arrives at 10 a.m. to set up and the evening team arrives at 6 p.m. to bag the groceries. Join us as we serve. Join us December 20th at 10 a.m. for a beautiful one-hour service to worship together as a family. Receive communion and celebrate Jesus as the light of the world. Invite your friends and family to come to this amazing holiday service. In the month of December, grab a vision card and write down your vision and the things your heart sees for the coming year. On January 3rd, we will bring these things to the Lord and release our faith together in prayer. It's one of our favorite Sundays of the year. Don't miss it. Thanks for being with us today. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and join our other online broadcasts and services we have throughout the week on our YouTube channel. You can also continue to sow financial seed by giving on the church app and by our text to give. And make sure that you stay updated month to month by grabbing our church bulletin on the way home. Thanks for being with us today and have a blessed week.